Hello and good morning and walking to pack today. Cause you know, getting back to my roots. <laughs> right, gonna do you a quick going out today. So first off we have a linen hobs dress. These are the stickiest come up Let me just restick that a second. And that's gone for twenty pounds. Pair of vintage, like uh, molded plastic bangles with elephants and flowers on and stuff. They went for eleven ninety nine. A little job lot of rings. There's twenty rings in there, and sent an offer of eight pound fifty, which got accepted. A white stuff, quite pretty floral. Is that a dress? Is that the right one? It's like a mini dress. Size twelve. That's right. Yeah, that's the right one. Who? That could have been a big mistake. That went full asking price of $15.99. This is a Ralph Lauren denim and supply. Um, light little sleeveless blouse. And that went for $15.99. That's going abroad somewhere. And uh, some hexagon shaped enamel 80s and 90s earrings. They went for $6.99. These humongous. Wow. Clip on earrings went for eight pounds. I think I sent an offer then which got accepted. And it's long black vintage maxi dress with all ruffles and crazy neck eyes. I took an offer of 18 pounds and a penny on that one. Right, I'm gonna get these packed up. And just as I'm drinking my electrolytes, I forgot I've also got two Etsy orders, which is nice. So a lovely pair of Droplet stealing silver earrings. How cool are they? Like they look lush. And then these ones, which are cute little hearts. Little hardy hoops. So they're quite nice as well. And they go in abroad, that pair. So yay for Etsy sales because that goes straight into my savings account. Oh, right, well. This is what I'm tackling this morning. I'm gonna um, join Karen on her live in a bit when she's on. Give her a little thumbs up there. Um, yes, um, I'm sorting out some vintage jewelry lots and then I'll be sorting out other lots. And I had this idea of maybe, maybe just selling them off live rather than going through the whole eBay rigmarole and stuff maybe doing like a Sunday afternoon, like tomorrow afternoon, and um, just going, who wants this? Because, I don't know, it saves time, I guess. Let me know if you do fancy that, and I'll, I'll sort something out for tomorrow. But, yeah, that could be kind of fun. Hmm. Oh, and I've got some weird little bits over here. This is what I think is a nice brass belt buckle. That's kind of cool. And a couple of little... Badges and rings and a tie clip and another little buckle there and some thimbles. I'll just chuck them in as well because, you know. And then this happy little dude, he's kind of cute, isn't he? And a hair clip and another little brooch. And those are to go into my broken vintage lot. Oh, and this is a fake Tiffany. <laughs> I'm keeping this one though because it's... Uh, I, like, I kind of like having all the fake stuff. I don't know. It just makes me laugh. Anyways, yeah. Come on, Corin, hurry up. Well, exciting. I have scheduled, do, 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 where's it gone? A stream yard for tomorrow, a live jewelry sale. Yay. So, um, I'll show you in a bit, like this is just quickly the auction lots, but I'll, um, it's not an auction, it's just, you know, I'll say a price and then someone goes, oh, I want that one. And that's about it. I don't want to do an auction because it gets very confusing. And um, yeah, I'll show you those lots after I've had my lunch. And lunch today is a omelette. And it's called a omelette because you go nom nom nom. I'll show you in a second when it's done. So here's my omelette. So it's two eggs, some mushrooms cooked in butter, uh, 25 grams of cheese because that's all I had left, and 30 grams of pepperoni. Nom nom nom. Hello, I'm going to give you a sneaky peeky preview of like the, the things I'm going to sell off tomorrow. 
so be ready to go mine um, on tomorrow's live if there's something you fancy. So a holiday lot, let's go. And another holiday lot. Cool bit. A big wooden lot. Stuff. A whole load of earrings. I mean, I dread to think how many's in there. Hundreds or so, easy. Uh, we've got rings. Oh, I put them on the wrong order. Put these over. Rings one is animals, isn't it? I think in the description underneath the live. I changed them over. It would have been easier to oh anyway. Right. Animal rings. Just a few in there. They are a bit tarnished, but they're still kind of funky. Flowers. And then other bits. Loads of them. Um, we've got a new with tags lot. There's a couple of Wallace bits in there and some other things. Um, click six. Never heard of them. So yeah, lots of new bits there. Ugh. Three point eight kilograms of broken jewelry. A lot of them. I mean, there's a lot of pendants in there. Like, where's a cool pendant? There's one with a bug in it. And then we go ahead. So I probably just need to put um, sort them out. Put a chain through them and you can sell them then. That's cool. I have to sort out them rings because I've messed them up somehow. And then I've got right vintage brooches that are broken. Two vintage broken jewellery lots. So stuff to fix, stuff to craft with. And then I've got nine small vintage jewellery lots. For those people who just fancy a dabble. Um, and then I've got, right, bangles and bracelets. Over two kilos in each of these. Bangles and bracelets. Bangles and bracelets, number three, number four, bangles and bracelets, number five, just bangles, and I've tried to do it so that you've got a few of the same in there just in case you wanted to wear the same or sell them as a, a little bundle, so there's like, you know, as you can see, there's like, that would be a little bundle and that would be a little bundle and those two and those two those two, that kind of thing. Um, so that was by six. Oh, hang on, the door's going. I'll be back in a sec. Uh, that was Hermes picking up. Okay. Right, so where was I? Um, this one, B6. So this is like sparklies and plastics and stuff. And then B7. I put like animal ones and then there's like paisley and hippie and a couple of wood ones in there. And then in this old box, right, three kilograms of mixed necklaces. God knows how many in there. So, so many. And then another three kilograms in there. So that's M1 and 2. And then we get on to chunky statement, long and beaded, those kind of things. So we've got N3, some like tribal bits and big bits in there. Um, That's N4. N5. And N6. So that was just a little sneaky preview of what comes tomorrow. Um, yeah, should be fun, hopefully. Well, we'll see. <laughs> right, fixing myself my dinner. Leftover tandoori chicken and stuff in there. 
and I have got um, right 60 grams of paneer cheese and 50 grams of mushrooms frying in about 20 grams of butter here and then to that I'm gonna add right in here I've made up some bouillon from this and a splash of tomato puree and about 20 mils of cream so I'm gonna add that the juices from there and um, into there and cook it down into a, a sort of a masala I suppose I don't know we'll see how it goes so my liquid mixture has gone in and I'm just trying to cook it down if it doesn't cook down into a saucy sauce because at the moment I've got like more water to like cheese and mushroom content ratio so I want a saucy sauce so um, I might add a little bit of xanthan gum to it which will hopefully thicken it into a bit of a sauce if it doesn't reduce down enough and I'm getting hungry so reduce quicker damn it hello hello so this is my dinner look at that massive massive bit of chicken there it's not so good my cauliflower rice there's like my lamb bits and kebab bits and then that's my sort of mushroom and paneer masala I guess I am going to give that a go and see if it's absolutely horrible it's boiling hot this, this could be minging by the way and it's not that is bloody gorgeous I've maybe, maybe over salted it a little bit but because I don't like things too salty but because I've got low blood pressure and because you know electrolytes and all that I have to add salt to things but which makes me retain water oh it's a circle of water anyways that's really good I'm gonna neck this I'm gonna watch some telly and maybe rent a film tonight hmm. Can you hear that wind and rain? Oh man, and it was so sunny the other day. I'm lying in bed by the way watching some telly and chilling. And you're probably upside down. I do love the sound of rain though. Oh and I'm I'm just out of the shower as well, that's why I'm like this. Blow off your crazy hair. But I have got a brownie. Um mm. 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 look at that, it's melty. Mm. A marine collagen peptide hot chocolate with just hazelnuts, no? Mmm, peptidey. Right, catch me tomorrow on Carla's show in the morning and then at 2 o'clock over on my channel for my selling lots of stuff. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyways, I'll catch you then. Bye bye now, bye bye.